You won't believe how these extremely rich NASCAR drivers live like average Joes, but just how modestly do they manage their millions? Let's dive in and discover. Number 10. Ken Schrader $25 million Ken Schrader, at age 65, defies the typical image of a retired NASCAR driver. With a net worth of 25 mil, Schrader could easily enjoy a life of luxury. Instead, he opts for a relentless racing schedule. He's participated in 66 starts in his cell-phoned Dirt Late Models and Dirt Open Wheel Modifieds across 17 states and a Canadian province. His continued passion for racing, despite his substantial wealth, highlights his down-to-earth nature. Schrader's racing career is remarkable, spanning over five decades with more than 1,200 NASCAR starts across various series. This includes Cup, Xfinity, and Craftsman. His record extends to 123 Automobile Racing Club of America Menard starts and numerous races in the United States Auto Club Series. In 2022 alone, he raced in the full six-race superstar racing experience and even a school bus race, aiming for a 75-80 to 80 start season. This workload is typical for Schrader, who has regularly raced throughout his career. Aside from racing, Schrader owns the Federated Auto Parts Raceway in Peebley, Missouri. He spends around 30 days a year driving two-seaters with federated executives and customers, showcasing his hands-on approach to business ventures. Despite his wealth and status, he describes his life as normal, stating, For me, this is as normal a lifestyle as it can be. Schrader's humility extends beyond the track. He doesn't flaunt his wealth or seek extravagant lifestyles. Instead, he finds contentment in the thrill of racing and the camaraderie it brings. His attitude toward his age and career is nonchalant, as he remarks, Seems like I've been doing this forever. Really, I'm just playing. With no signs of slowing down, Schrader continues to race across the country, unbothered by not having competed in all 50 states. His wife, Anne, humorously notes, He has no other skills or hobbies. Schrader's dedication to living for his passion and not his millions is shared by other NASCAR drivers, too. Number 9. Michael Waltrip – $35 million Michael Waltrip, a former NASCAR driver with a net worth of 35 mil, reflects a down-to-earth lifestyle despite his success in the racing world. Born in Owensboro, Kentucky, Waltrip's career in NASCAR spans over three decades, with notable achievements including two Daytona 500 wins. Despite these accomplishments, he leads a life that contrasts significantly with the lavish lifestyle often associated with high-profile athletes. Waltrip's humility is evident in his interactions. When asked if he ever lies about his identity, he simply states, no. I just say my name is Daryl, and I'm retired, and I live in Tennessee. This response reflects his desire for normalcy and an unassuming life away from the racetrack. His approach to life extends to his fitness and health. Recently, Waltrip embarked on a personal improvement journey, losing over 50 pounds and enhancing his physical strength. He credits intermittent fasting and a shift in lifestyle during the COVID-19 pandemic for this transformation. Waltrip's dedication to fitness is not a newfound interest. He previously ran marathons during his racing career to maintain his endurance, stating, You might outrun me, but you'll never outlast me. Waltrip's business ventures also demonstrate his grounded approach. He recently launched the Michael Waltrip Brewing Company, inspired by a casual conversation with friends. Rather than pursuing extravagant endeavors, his business is rooted in a genuine interest and a simple idea born from personal experience. In his interactions with other drivers, Waltrip displays a sense of humor and relatability, particularly when discussing radio communications during races. He finds amusement in the boldness exhibited by drivers over the radio, a trait he's witnessed and experienced firsthand. The next NASCAR driver on our list is a controversial figure in the NASCAR world, but his approach to life remains humble. Number 8. Kurt Busch – $40 million Kurt Busch, a NASCAR driver with a net worth of 40 mil, has a story that challenges the typical narrative of a racing superstar. He was from Las Vegas, a city not historically known for producing NASCAR talent. This is why Busch's entry into the sport was somewhat unconventional. His career began in the wake of a tragic incident involving Chris Trickle. 
Bush replaced Trickle in the NASCAR Winter Heat Series. He displayed remarkable talent and competed against renowned drivers like Ron Hornaday Jr. and Kevin Harvick. Bush's ascent in NASCAR was rapid, winning Rookie of the Year in 1998 and the Series Championship in 1999 in late model racing, he caught the attention of Jack Roush. Bush's first significant break came through a TV show, which led him to a truck series ride in the 1999 Ford. Despite skepticism about his unconventional start, he proved his spirit by winning multiple races and narrowly missing the series championship. However, Bush's journey in NASCAR was not without controversy. He gained a bad reputation for his feuds with other drivers, particularly with Jimmy Spencer, which earned him the reputation of the villain of NASCAR. This reputation was further cemented when he became the first winner of the Nextel Cup under NASCAR's controversial chase format. In 2005, after a dull season, Bush left Roush Racing for Team Penske, replacing the legendary Rusty Wallace in the number 2 Miller Lite Dodge. This move was unpopular and for a time made him one of the most disliked figures in American professional sports. His tenure with Penske was marked by wins and conflicts, leading to his departure from the team. Bush's career took a turn when he joined Phoenix Racing in the 1951 Chevrolet for the 2012 season. This phase was the lowest point in his career, characterized by on-track incidents and off-track controversies. However, Bush managed to turn his fortunes around. Joining Furniture Row Racing and later Stuart Haas Racing, he revitalized his career, winning races including the prestigious Daytona 500 in 2017, and showing impressive consistency. Kurt Busch's transformation from a controversial figure to a respected veteran in the sport is proof of his resilience and adaptability. The next NASCAR driver on our list is known to enjoy both his racing endeavors and the life it brings with it. Number 7. Denny Hamlin – $45 million Denny Hamlin, a NASCAR driver with a net worth of 45 mil, is renowned for his racing achievements and association with basketball legend Michael Jordan in the 2311 racing team. Born in Tampa, Florida, Hamlin has carved a niche for himself in the racing world, marked by consistent performance and notable victories. In celebrity and sports, Hamlin stands out for his clear approach to fame and finance. This was particularly evident when he clarified myths surrounding Michael Jordan's gambling habits, a subject often shrouded in speculation and sensationalism. In 2019, amidst rumors about Jordan's alleged gambling losses, Hamlin, during a conversation with Dan Patrick, shed light on the reality of these claims. He indicated that while gambling did occur, the amounts were not as staggering as reported, emphasizing, a few thousand would exchange hands, but nothing that'll make those guys nervous, uncomfortable. Hamlin's partnership with Jordan in forming the 2311 racing team is proof of his business sense and forward-thinking approach. Jordan's entry into NASCAR, with Hamlin as a co-partner, marked a significant moment in the sport's history. Jordan's condition to Hamlin was clear and ambitious. I don't want to get in there just to go around and watch races. I want to win. This statement reflects a shared commitment to excellence and success beyond mere participation. Despite his considerable wealth, Hamlin's persona remains grounded. His ability to navigate the glamorous world of sports while maintaining a realistic perspective on matters like finance and fame is commendable. His involvement in high-stakes ventures like 2311 racing and a sensible approach to life's flashier aspects demonstrate a balance between ambition and practicality. Upcoming on our list, Bush leads a simple life with his wife, despite his wealth. Number 6. Kyle Busch – $50 million Kyle Busch, with a net worth of 50 mil, is recognized for his skills on the racetracks and his life as a family man. Known for his racing achievements with Richard Childress Racing, Bush's life off the track is quite ordinary, revolving around his wife Samantha and their two children. Despite his glamorous professional life, Bush's domestic life shows him as a typical family man, although with a touch of humor. Samantha Bush recently shared a lighthearted glimpse into their household life, highlighting Kyle's less-than-perfect adherence to household chores. In an amusing Instagram post, she playfully exposed Kyle's habit of leaving clothes around the laundry basket, rather than inside it. The caption, You can do it! 
Alongside a video of the clothes scattered around the basket brought a humorous side to Kyle's domestic shortcomings. This insight into Bush's household life reveals a relatable aspect to the NASCAR star. It shows that despite his immense success and wealth, his home life is filled with the same family time that many share. His laid-back attitude towards household chores contrasts with the intense focus and dedication he displays on the racetrack. Kyle Busch's off-track life demonstrates that beneath the helmet and racing suit lies a regular person dealing with everyday family dynamics. His interaction with his family provides fans a glimpse into a professional athlete's life's more personal and down-to-earth side. For our next NASCAR driver, the focus is not on his money but on his passion and how he's sharing it with his family. Number 5. Jeff Burton – $55 million Jeff Burton, with a net worth of 55 mil, hails from a family deeply rooted in professional racing. Born in South Boston, Virginia on June 29, 1967, Burton was introduced to racing by his father, John Burton, starting with go-karts and progressing to stock cars and late models during his teenage years. His early years were spent honing his skills at the South Boston Speedway, leading to his participation in the Bush Series in the late 1980s. Burton's professional career took off in the Winston Cup Series with Filmar Racing, where he claimed his first race victory in 1993. This achievement was quickly followed by being named NASCAR Rookie of the Year in 1994. His career continued to ascend as he joined Roush Racing in 1996, driving a Ford Thunderbird, and later moved to Richard Childress Racing in 2004. Over his career, Burton accumulated 21 wins, 6 pole positions, and 248 top 10 finishes. He also engaged in research and development with Michael Waltrip Racing and transitioned into a media commentator role post-retirement. This second career in media has allowed him to maintain a significant income, working as an analyst for NBC and continuing his association with motorsports. Off the track, Burton is a family man, married to Kim with two children, including his son Harrison, who follows in his father's footsteps as a NASCAR Cup Series driver. His family's involvement in construction, with his brother Brian at the helm, signifies the Burton's diverse business interest. His income was significantly increased by brand sponsorships, including deals with SKF, Sitgo, PDVSA, and Caterpillar. His substantial wealth is reflected in his property portfolio, which includes a luxurious estate in Huntersville, North Carolina. Jeff Burton's journey from a championship-winning driver to a respected media analyst demonstrates his lasting impact on American motorsports. He remains influential in NASCAR, shaping the next generation of racers and continuing to contribute through his media presence. Next up, this NASCAR driver is both a fan favorite and also known for her thrifty spending habits. Number 4. Danica Patrick – $60 million Danica Patrick, with a net worth of 60 mil, is both a trendsetter in the racing world and a savvy financial manager. As a fan favorite both on and off the track, Patrick has received significant attention and endorsements. This includes a long-standing partnership with GoDaddy, highlighted by her appearances in 13 Super Bowl commercials. Her full-time racing in the Sprint Cup Series boosted her earnings considerably, making her one of the highest-paid female athletes in 2014, according to Forbes. Apart from her racing skills, Patrick's approach to managing her wealth is noteworthy. Recognizing the importance of expert financial advice, she employs two private certified public accountants to oversee her finances. This smart money move ensures her earnings and investments are managed efficiently and effectively. One of her certified public accountants focuses specifically on her day-to-day -day finances, handling all payments and deposits, a role Patrick describes as the comptroller of my money. Patrick's financial strategy extends beyond employing professionals. She understands the value of daily financial oversight. This hands-on approach to money management helps avoid common financial pitfalls such as late fees or overdraft charges. It's a principle she believes can be applied by anyone, with or without the help of a certified public accountant. By regularly monitoring finances, one can ensure spending stays within budget and financial health remains strong. Danica Patrick's success is not limited to the racetrack. 
Her sensible financial practices and the emphasis on continuous management of her wealth exemplify a disciplined approach to personal finance. Her methods highlight the importance of financial literacy and the benefits of seeking expert advice to make informed decisions. For the next driver on our list, financial struggles were a part of the early life that shaped his approach to money growing up. Number 3. Jimmy Johnson – $120 million Jimmy Johnson, a NASCAR driver with a net worth of $120 million, exemplifies a story of perseverance and humility. From his early days as a rookie in California, Johnson faced financial challenges, demonstrating a resourceful and grounded approach to life. Before his rise to fame, he struggled to pay rent, resorting to doing chores and cooking for roommates, including his signature barbecued shrimp tacos as a means to contribute. Johnson's journey in the racing world is marked by hard work and dedication. He began his career racing in the Bush Series and gradually worked his way up. Despite his massive earnings in recent years, Johnson's early financial struggles instilled in him a sense of humility and the importance of managing finances wisely. This perspective helped shape his approach to wealth and success. Throughout his career, Johnson has been known for his strategic decisions, both on and off the track. He was once presented with a contract by Chip Ganassi Racing, but declined to sign immediately, preferring to consider the offer thoroughly. This cautious approach to his career choices reflects his thoughtful nature and understanding of the importance of alignment with his values and long-term goals. Johnson's interaction with team owner Rick Hendrick, as recounted in the story of the Facebook Live incident, further highlights his down-to-earth personality. Despite his high profile, Johnson maintains a sense of humor and a personable demeanor, characteristics that have endeared him to fans and colleagues alike. Today, Jimmy Johnson is celebrated for his racing achievements and character. His journey from financial struggles to becoming one of the most successful drivers in NASCAR history serves as an inspiration. The next NASCAR driver on our list is known for his decorated career and modesty. Number 2. Jeff Gordon – $200 million Jeff Gordon, with a net worth of 200 mil, is celebrated as a NASCAR driver and model of practical financial management. From an early age, Gordon displayed a remarkable knack for seizing opportunities, as evidenced by his initiative at 14 to secure a sponsorship for free oil for a sprint car. This early experience, recounted by ESPN, showcased his fearless approach to negotiations and an understanding of the value of self-advocacy. Throughout his career, Gordon's financial savvy extended beyond just earning to include mindful spending. Despite the substantial wealth accumulated over his successful racing career, Gordon and his wife, Ingrid Vandebosch, made a deliberate decision to live a more modest lifestyle, especially after the birth of their first child in 2007. This decision marked a significant shift in his personal life, where he chose to cut down on luxury items and services. Gordon reduced his personal staff, decided against owning a yacht with a full-time crew, and opted to lease out his private jet through an airplane motor pool, demonstrating a practical approach to managing his assets. Gordon's lifestyle choices reflect a desire to remain grounded and involved in his family life. Contrary to the expectations that come with wealth, he and his wife take an active role in parenting. As Gordon stated in an ESPN interview in 2007, they personally attend to tasks like changing diapers and feeding their baby, a choice that defies the stereotypical celebrity lifestyle. Jeff Gordon's approach to wealth and fame is marked by a down-to-earth attitude and a commitment to maintaining a semblance of normalcy in his personal life. His journey demonstrates that even those with substantial wealth can choose a more grounded and modest lifestyle. Like Gordon, the final NASCAR driver on our list does not focus on the money. His focus is on the game. Number 1. Dale Earnhardt Jr. $400 million Dale Earnhardt Jr., with an impressive net worth of $400 million, stands out as a race car legend and a wise financial manager. In the period from June 2013 to June 2014 alone, he earned $14.9 million from racing, according to Forbes. His empire extends beyond the racetrack, including many successful ventures. One of them is owning two Whiskey River bars and earning $11 million from endorsements in one year. 
This combination of earnings from racing and other ventures brought his total annual income to a staggering $25.9 million. This makes him the highest paid driver in NASCAR. Additionally, his popularity is unmatched, as he was voted NASCAR's most popular driver for the 11th consecutive year in 2013. Despite his substantial earnings, Earnhardt has learned to manage his wealth wisely. He acknowledges the learning curve he experienced regarding financial matters, as reported by ESPN. In the early stages of his career, Earnhardt admitted to not fully understanding the value of money and its long-term implications. However, as his career progressed, he realized the importance of saving and being financially alert. He emphasized the need to build a nest egg and take baby steps in financial planning. Earnhardt's approach to wealth management is a lesson in financial judgment. He highlights the importance of starting small with savings, even if it's just a few dollars each week. This strategy helps in stretching current earnings and also lays the foundation for a strong financial future. It's a method that can be beneficial for anyone, regardless of their income level. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s story is one of both professional success and smart financial planning. His journey from a racing superstar to a savvy businessman and investor highlights the significance of understanding and responsibly managing wealth. His approach demonstrates that regardless of the level of income, financial awareness and economic management are key to securing a stable financial future. While these NASCAR drivers might be living surprisingly modest lives, not everyone in the world of sports is quite as thrifty. Speaking of big spenders, have you ever wondered about the heftiest penalties ever dished out in professional basketball? You'll be shocked to see just how costly some mistakes can be. Don't miss out on our rundown of the most expensive fines in NBA history.